everyone, so I'm going to be making a uh, glitter mix to go into a jelly nail polish that I'm going to be making with you guys. So my nail polish is already prepped the way that I make it with the half the clear um, and half a bottle of the iridescent glitter. Um, this one has a little le less iridescent glitter than um, half a bottle because I wanted it to be sp sparse. So my... my uh, Nail polish is ready to go, and this was just cheap, wet and wild, like the stuff that's like 93 cents for a bottle. So out of the bottle, um, out of two bottles, uh, one bottle of clear and one bottle of iridescent glitter, I actually have two full bottles. Plus, there's a bunch left in here, so I had to go find like a half-empty bottle and pour that in there. So you can get like th um, two to three nail polishes out of the two things. So. I am going to be making a jelly white with um, neons inside of it. Um, I've seen a lot of Frankens that have that combination that I really, really like. So um, it's just going to be a little bit of um, everything. So I'm going to start off with my neon pinks. And most of these came from Glitter and Unique, except for a few of them. They came from uh, Burrow Babe Supply uh, on Etsy. So since I'm only making one bottle, I'm just going to use one scoop of this for each color. And then, uh, like I said, I want to do size variation. So that was just like um, small squares, the .035. This is uh, neon hot pink hexagons. These are the extra large, the .125s. And because these are bigger, I'm just going to throw in two scoops of those. And this is like the little scoop that I got from um, my eBay listing that I, I bought from Bur uh, Burrow Babe. I won her uh, sampler off of eBay. So then I got these matte pink shreds. I'm going to throw our tinsel. I'm going to throw those like a scoop and a half of those in there. And then um, this is neon orange that I got from Pink Lady Nail Designs when she was doing that sale that she had a couple weeks ago. Uh, a couple weeks ago. So I don't have any larger oranges to throw in, so I'm going to do a scoop and a half of the orange because I don't, that's the only orange. It was either neon orange or I was going to go with this pale orange, but I figured the neon orange was better. And then I have some larger neon yellows. I'm going to throw those in as well. And because these are larger, I'm going to throw in a scoop of a, and a half so you get the same consistency. Okay, give me a second. Then I've got some neon green squares. I got these from Pink, La uh, Glitter Na uh, Pink Lady Nail Designs as well. So, And then I'm going to throw in some of these. Um, these are just larger. These are the .062 hexes. In a second. So there's that. And then these are neon purple hexes. I've only seen these on Burrow Babe Supply. So um, if you're looking into those, that's where I got them from. So I've got the mediums, and then I've got some ultra fine ones I'm going to throw in because I don't have any ultra fine of anything else. So scoop of that. And those are the, these are a little bit smaller, and I'm going to throw in one scoop of those, or actually maybe just a half a scoop. Then I've got some neon blue short slices, I'm going to throw some of those in there as well. And then I've got some neon blue larger hexes. And I'm going to throw those in as well. And then for the last thing, I've got neon blue matte squares. And I'm going to throw those in as well. And then that's going to be the mix that I put in the polish. And obviously I'm not going to be able to use all of this in the polish because it made quite a bit. But I'm going to give it a good mix up. And it made a really pretty neon mix. So 
So there's the mix. Really pretty. So then, um, I'm going to now put some of this inside my inside my glitter polish here. And I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to put in. I'm just going to keep scooping it in until I think I got enough. So I'll put that in your view there. I'm just going to keep scooping it in there. I made a little bit of a mess here, so I'm going to put all that in there and then shake it up and see what I get. Well, you know what I forgot to put in there was some balls. Some of the uh, glitter, uh, the mix-up balls, so I'm going to take that out for a second and then put in a, a mixy ball in there. And then I think I'm going to put just a little bit more of the neon glitter in there and then uh, put the white in there to make it. So there's that. I dropped two balls in, and then now I'm just going to put some more glitter in there. Yeah, this made a really cool, awesome, pretty mix, though. I think I might make a bigger one of that. All right, so now that's what it looks like and with with no uh, white in it. So I am going to put white in this one, and because I have that extra bottle, I think I'm going to put more of the glitter mix in and just make a clear as well, like a clear top coat with the neon colors. Let me focus you guys in, sorry. Still a little too clear for me. I want a little bit darker. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. So there it is. You can see all the neon goodness in there. Ooh, it's so pretty. And then I got my, my little wheel here. I'm going to show you a swatch of what it looks like. So that's just one coat of it. And then of course you would do like two or three coats of this. Two coats. So that is that. And then what you can do is like with that extra that I showed you that I had poured off in the cup over here. Because this is not all the way to the top yet if you don't want to add anything else to it. Oop. Just pour the rest of it back in there. Waste not want not. And there you go, a new neon jawbreaker like jelly uh, polish. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you like the polish, and I will see you at the next one. Bye.